Hi guys, this might be on YouTube, I don't know if I'm going to post it on YouTube, depends on how long I ramble on, on this, it's probably only going to be half an hour long. But today we're going to talk about compensation for Maple C. Woo! Compensation! Woo! Okay, so um, basically, they released two sets of compensation uh, for, for Maple C. Um, coming next week actually, right? You guys, I'm, I'm sure you, you most of you have read the compensation notes already, you all know what's up. Uh, Basically, for the first one, the slightly less exciting one, but still very exciting one, there's five Typhoon Growth Potions and one skill item for Zen slash Union Link skill. Uh, if you participate, if you participated in the Zen free tr job transfer until 6th April. So basically, you as long as you converted one Zen during the time period of the free job transfer, which is until which lasts until 6th April, you'll you'll be eligible to receive both these things. So what these things are, okay, Typhoon Growth is self-explanatory. That's Big boost, very good, very poggers, very poggers. Um, and this thing is basically, uh, from what they say, it's a skill item that lasts 365 days and can be freely used and moved around into account within this period. So basically, I think what it does is it just gives you the Zen Union and the Link skill uh, in one. And you just carry it on your account, I think. I think. And you just immediately get the buff. I hope. I hope. I hope that's what happens. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think that's what that's what will happen. So it's quite poggers. So basically, by removing Zen, they've added it back in in this form. And in my opinion, the reason why they did it is because they want to add more Shen, but they know that people have spent a lot of time grinding their Zens to two hundred. So they want to give people like a buffer zone for them to be able to grind their Zens again, or grind their new more Shens to two hundred and receive the same buffs again, the same links here and the same union. So hopefully, we get more Shen within a year. Honestly, it's not a big deal if we don't, because this thing already lasts one year, I'm pretty happy. But it would be really good if it lasts one year. I mean, if, if they give us more Shen, so that we can have a permanent um, permanent Zen Union and Ningxio, right? So pretty poggers. Typhoon Growth times 5. But, uh, is a lot. Typhoon Growth <laughs> times 5 is a lot. For, for, for those that don't know what Typhoon Growth is, does uh typhoon growth is basically one free level from level 200 to 239 i don't suggest that you use the potion at anything less than 239 because you're just wasting it because okay so what happens is if you're above 240 or if you're 240 and above the typhoon growth will give you the same amount of exp needed from 239 to 240 right but the thing is is if you use it at 238 they'll only give you the exp from 238 to 239 it won't give you any extra exp it'll only give you the full level itself of exp so the most efficient way to use it is to use it at 239 and then afterwards use the rest at 240 in order to get as much exp as possible of course if you're lazy you don't care you know, okay like, whatever like, just use it at 240 and then i uh, use it to get to 240 doesn't matter but if you want to be efficient you will use at 239 and above don't don't use it on don't use it at any other at any lower level right so that's out of the way we all understand how typhoons work very good very poggers <laughs> Very focused. We get uh, a lot of EXP. This is super good for any mid game or even some late game players. <laughs> We're gonna go for that window update if you want to keep your VM. <laughs> is Typhoon Trade I think it will be inter account. If I'm not wrong, it will be inter account. Uh, where is it? I'm pretty sure it will be inter. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it will be claim on character from, from the reward box. So. Yeah. I mean, Typhoon Growth have generally all been inter-account, right? They've always been inter-account, so no no worries there. Lah. Can you guys stop spamming Pog Slide? The YouTube video is going to look really weird if you guys <laughs> keep spamming Pog Slide, you fuckers. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, that, that's the first half. The first half of uh, the first half of uh, the compensation. It's already very poggers. I'm very I'm very happy already. Oh, the second bullet note. All, oh, yeah, okay. All, account, all, all items are inter-account trade. That's true. So all, all items in the account trade were very good. Very cool. Um, now we get to the real stuff. The thing that has made me happier than I've been in the past like two months. Because there hasn't been a DMT in two months. Or oh, I've been waiting for DMT for two months already. Fuck this. Fuck this. Okay, no. Fuck, not, not fuck this game. I love this game. But this is the big stuff. The actual compensation. We're actually getting almost the entirety of KMS compensation. Except for one small part. Not small, but there's one part that we don't get. I don't care about that part. I think some people will care, but I don't care. I don't care about the honor. Because we, we are not getting 100% back from honor. Um, we're only getting 100% back in flames. Or 103% to 109%, depending on what 
class you are in flames and uh we're also getting the the heartfelt apology package which is great okay so blah blah, blah da, 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 big apology whatever don't care um so they're gonna give us flames back that have been consumed since first february up until third march which is like three weeks ago third march uh yeah so it's about three weeks ago you get 100 percent flames back um and you for strength classes it's 100 percent dex classes get 103 luck uh int classes get 106 and luck classes get 109 so pretty poggers strength is free shut up man i mean i don't care it's it's a small amount it's whatever man so it, it goes by a point system uh it goes by a point system i don't know i i've seen kms players do it basically every red every crimson flame that you use is worth one point and every rainbow flame that you use is worth three points so uh basically you can reclaim them back you can you get like a set number of points and then afterwards like they'll calculate all the points that you have then afterwards you can use them to buy buy these flames using those points right you can either buy the tradable version or the untradable version the tradable version is obviously much more expensive and it might flood the market with flames <laughs> i don't know i'm sure there are a lot of people that already have very good flames and they don't even want they don't even want the flame anymore so they'll just buy they'll just get the tradable flames and sell them it might cause the flame market to crash and burn i don't know yet it might but um mostly i think people will be looking at the karma ones because this is one to one this is this literally one to one uh for crimson and Resur rainbow resurrection the nice thing is the nice thing is is if you, you you can convert all your crimson flames to rainbow flames which is great like if, let's say you use 1000 crimson flames you can buy 333 rainbow flames instead so if you want if you wanted to flame like a weapon or something you don't you're not very interested in flaming your armor you just want to flame your weapon you can convert all of your points into crimson into rainbow flames to flame your weapon very good hoggers so yeah uh very cool i'm pretty happy this is this is this is the big thing this is the big thing that everybody is okay to be honest it's not really the biggest thing the big thing is below but this is a pretty big thing uh so everyone should be pretty happy with this um next is obviously the miracle circulators which people bought using either bought or used during the during the event period they'll be uh they'll be refunded to you we're not we're not getting honor we're not getting honor so we're not they're not refunding any of the any of the honor that we used it's kind of shitty i guess i don't know why they're not um but i don't care <laughs> i don't care about the honor most most people most people that i know uh they abuse the system and they use the they use the the what's it called uh, the recipe system to to get the 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 inner ability line that they want really so those people that abuse the system and got it good for you you don't really care about the honor right I don't care about the honor. I didn't abuse the system, but I mean, I already got my crit rate line, so whatever. The big thing is, we're not showing it to us. Shut up, man. Uh, yeah. So you won't get the honor back. You get miracle circulators back. I mean, some people will be angry. I'm not too mad. I'm okay. Like I was already not expecting. I was not expecting to get any compensation in the first place. So I'm very, very happy that we're getting something and I'm very happy about what they're giving us already and not giving us the honor. This is how badly I've been treated. This is like Stockholm Syndrome. I've been treated so badly by HSL for so long that at this point, I'll take anything that they give me. <laughs> I'll take anything that they give me. Okay, so next, heartfelt apology, blah, blah, big text. This, this is the important thing for a lot of people. A lot of people in Maple Sea especially because Maple Sea has a pretty difficult gearing curve compared to a lot of other servers because uh, our cubing rates suck <laughs> our, cu our cubing rates suck um, so the first thing that we get is the maple relay arcane shade box this is a 15 star acs 15 star that has 40 percent boss 12 percent damage is it 40 percent boss or is it 30 i can't remember it's either 40 or 30 percent boss 12 percent damage and 12 percent uh Wait, is it 12 or is it 9? Oh, I don't remember these numbers anymore. It's been a long time since I looked at since I looked at the at uh fake ACS. Because we got this, we got this ACS before, like long ago, uh back before GA1 started actually. So it's a 15 star ACS. You can't pot it, you can't even put a B pot on it. So that's that's kind of bad actually. You can't put B pot, you can't put a pot on it, or you can't change the pot, uh you can't star force, you can't trace. It's been 30% trace for you already, eight times. So it's a good weapon for a lot of people 
Um, to me, it's basically the equivalent of a 22-star epic Fafnir or 22-star epic episode. It's about that equivalent around there. Because of how good uh, weapon attack and magic attack flames are on ACS and how good uh, the base weapon attack and base magic attack of ACS is, is really good. Like, for example, for my Kana, uh, a 15-star Kana Arcane Shade fan beats out a 22-star Absol fan easily. Like, easily. If you get the if you get like a tier six magic attack flame, it easily easily beats out a twenty two star epic Absol. If you can get legend Absol, obviously that's a different story lah. But uh, if you're only using epic Absols, or if you don't even have twenty two star weapon yet, this ACS box is really really good for you. It's really really good. Um, I'll answer the rest. Okay, you will leave your questions for later. Okay, let me go through the notes first. Let me go through the notes. I'll answer like whatever other questions you'll have after this, like specific questions. There's also a Dom Pendant box. The Dom Pendant box has a 15 star Dom that has unique pot with 15% of your main stat and 9% crit rate. Is it 9 or is it? I have one in my inventory actually. I can check this. This one I can check. Uh, it is 6% crit rate. Sorry, 6% crit rate. 15% main stat, 6% crit rate. So again, it's really good if you don't have like a good second pendant and second pendants are difficult to get in maple sea because you know we don't have sweet water we don't have godlux uh the most most people what they run is like a dawn pendant plus a machinator pendant if you're rich you will have a, either a rising sun pendant or a frontier b or frontier c pendant right either one of those but if you're like an unfunded player you're not that strong 15 star dom is super super good drink water can i don't have any water on me i'll get some water later okay so 15 star dom Good for mules, good for bossing mules, good for your main if you don't have any better pendants. If you're rich, you have SOP. Okay, no, that's super rich. That's super rich. We're talking about like fairly funded. Then you have something else. You have like Rising Sun pendants or you have uh, Frontier Seas. So, Dawn pendants still pretty good for most people. Most people. Um, especially if you don't have a 22 star Dom yet. Uh, this box, this 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 Dom pendant will beat out your 15 or 16, 17 star epic pendants. Like, you know, you have those 20 star pendants like the red peacock pendant or the pink peacock pendant or whatever. Those, it will beat out a 17 star pendant easily because those, it's pretty difficult to get unique pot in Maple C, right? So a unique pot 15% is very, very good. Plus 6% crit rate is already very good. All right, so moving on. Next, we get the Choo Choo Island set coupon. This one is also pretty poggers. They give us two because I think they have to they, they have to cater for zeros uh, for zero for zero uh, players. So the Choo Choo Island set coupon basically this gives you M label stats. So from what I remember, uh, the top the, the helmet gives you thirty main stat, thirty all stats. Sorry, and then the bunch give a bunch of other stats, and then the weapon gives you thirty weapon attack and thirty magic attack. It's a Zen Typhoon only for Zen Alpha. It's Inter, it's Inter. <laughs> Imagine catering for zeros and you can't even participate in Dynamic Duel. Feels bad, man. But yeah. Um, it's a free M label set, like a full free M label set. It lasts six months, from what I know. Uh, the stats last six months. The, the look itself is permanent, but the stats last six months. So once again, just, just more free stuff. Huh? Um, if you already have M label, you don't really care for it. I never invested in M label because it's very expensive in C. So. Um, Everyone's gonna look the same, yeah, that's true. Everyone's just gonna look the same. It's just gonna be free unlabeled stats for six months. So everybody's just gonna use it. Um Okay, so next the next big big thing is the growth potions. So there's one maximum growth potion. There are three typhoons. A weight growth potion, three, two, and one. So typhoon growth, uh, I mean max growth potion is basically a potion that will give you one level from 200 to 249. Um Again, my recommended level to use it at is 249 because you get the maximum amount of EXP that you can get instead of using it at like, if you use it at 240, it's kind of shitty because you're only going to get the EXP required from level 240 to 241. It won't give you the EXP from 249 to 250, which will probably level you up. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, like it, basically the higher level you use it, the better. Best to use it at 249. All right. Best to use it at 249. 240, 250, no. Yeah, okay. That's true also. That's true. But I would say best to use it at 249. Um, then the Typhoon Groves, I explained before already. Uh, a weight growth potion 3, if I'm not wrong, is 220 to 229. Uh, it's, it's a potion that gives you one level from 220 to 229. And it will give you the same EXP from 229 to 230 if you use it at a higher level. 
All right. Uh, below got show levels. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's 220 to 229, 200 to 219, and 200 to 209. Uh, pretty basic stuff, right? You can use this to level mules. You can use it on your main. You can use it for whatever. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. But it's great. And <laughs> the kicker: one thousand arcane symbols. One thousand arcane symbols. Uh, it's insane. It's insane. One thousand arcane symbols basically gets you a level one. From, uh, you get you a level one symbol all the way to a level thirteen symbol in one fucking in one fucking go. Right. So, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> uh, for those of y'all that are you are trying to max out Morris and Esfera, this is this is this is good for you. If y'all haven't maxed out Morris and Esfera yet, this is a really 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 good time to use uh, these symbols. Um, I would personally I would only use it on Morris and Esfera because the rest of them. Okay, so basic math. Morris and Esfera takes how long? Eleven months is it? Was it? Did they cut down the nine already? I think it's eleven months. Takes around eleven months to max. Your choo choo symbol takes like three months to max. So if you and your the second longest I think is latch, and if you use it, latch takes seven months to max. I think, if I'm not wrong. So. By by that logic, if you use it on uh Morris and Esfera, they'll max around the same time as your latch, which is great. If you use it on anything else. Your Morris and Esfera is still gonna take eleven months to max, so you should definitely, definitely use it on Morris or Esfera if you have the time. I mean, if you if you are at that level to, uh, to use the symbols, if you're two three five already. What if your Kana can only do Dream Breaker level twenty? Okay, then I think you should get your Kana up a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what your advice. Okay, I'll give you the, like, like I said, I'll give like specific advice later. There's custom mix dye. This one is to for hair. If I'm not wrong, you can mix and match your own hair color. There's Maomi. I they renamed it. It was called what was it called in in KMS? Uh? Oh, I forgot already. There, there's a different name in KMS. <laughs> they named it fucking Maomi. What the fuck? But anyways, this is a vac pet. Vac pet. Um, it's ninety days. It lasts ninety days, and you cannot revive it. So it's only it's only a ninety day vac pet that you cannot revive, but it's quality of life. For you, um, it's gonna it's gonna make a lot of people feel very very sad once it's gone. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna have, uh, yeah, a lot of people are gonna have back pet withdrawal symptoms after after poor mommy disappears. So yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with back pet withdrawal. Um, and then there's Mitra's three times exp box. Okay, the Mitra exp box. Let me go and see. Uh. Basically, you can use it for eight weeks. When you use the box, you release three times three times EXP coupons for twenty. You get twenty three times EXP coupons. <laughs> twenty. So, uh, yeah, it's five hours worth of grinding. Five hours worth of grinding. Three X coupons. Oh my god, it's pretty crazy actually. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, I hate fifteen minute coupons, but I mean it's three X. You can't say no, right? You can't say no. They'll get. They'll also give you extra eighteen days for attendance, uh, which is great. I guess I don't know. Anyways, that's like the full list of compensation. I guess I can. We can talk about how you want to use it, um, or how I feel like newer players will want to use it. So first of all, newer players you probably or newer and mid game players you probably won't get that many flames. So I'll skip over the flames part. The flames you decide on yourself how you want to use it. The ACS box. This one is difficult to say. Difficult to say for me. Claiming the ACS on your main is a priority, probably not on a mule, because this ACS box, if you get the proper flame on it, is equivalent to having a twenty-two star epic Fafnir. Equivalent, actually, it's more than equivalent. Um, it's more than equivalent to getting the twenty-two star. Uh, it's more than equivalent to a twenty-two star epic Fafnir. So if your main, if you're unfunded, you don't have the means to get a twenty-two star weapon. You don't have the means to get a twenty-two star Abso or Fafnir, claim the arcane shape relay on your main and use it. Twenty-two star Faf LR. I think L pot will beat will beat it. If you have an L pot twenty-two star Fafnir, it will beat the ACS. But if it's not L pot, if it's just epic or if it's unique, even 
it will probably not beat it. I'm fairly certain, fairly, fairly certain that it won't beat it. So my opinion is if you're unfunded, claim it on your main for sure. Don't don't waste it on a mule because this weapon can be your weapon for a very, 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 very long time. If you use the fake ACS, you shouldn't use Lucky Hammer anymore. Yeah, you shouldn't. You should use Epso. Yeah, if you're new or mid-game, you're probably, you're right, you're not getting LR. So, this weapon can be your weapon for a very, 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 very long time. Like, basically, until you have enough funds or you've played the game long enough that you can uh, that you can purchase a 22-star uh, EPSO or 22-star ACS weapon. You'll lose a set effect. That's why you go EPSO head. So, you have the 5 set effect of EPSO head. Anyways, so yeah, this one, claim on your main. Dominator Pendant, if you don't have... 17 star and a no if even if you have a 17 star dom this this dom is better because it's 15 percent unique if you have a 17 star like epic dom this this dom is definitely better because it's 15 percent main set but 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 if you already have a better neck if you already have a better dom pendant obviously don't claim it this one's very straightforward it's whether or not you have a better dom pendant or not if you don't have a better dom pendant claim this on your main if you do claim it on a mule sure can you get ACS call while you're shadow? You're planning to switch to Nylon Dream New? I think you have to switch to the job itself first. They don't give you a choice one. They only give you the weapon for your class, yeah. Your Dom L22 Sun Ukraine? Yes, yes, Pat. Claim it on your main. Go ahead. Just claim everything on your main if you're unfunded? Yes, yes. Uh, Obviously, only if you have a 15 star. It, only if you don't have a better Dom Pendant than this current, current Dom Pendant. DB can choose Daga, Daga or Katara? Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure. I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, obviously these two, depending on your funding, depending on your funding, you have to claim it either on your main or you can leave it for a mule if you want. Choo Choo Island set coupon, obviously claim on your main, don't leave it for mules. This thing has a free M label stat, has free M label stats, it's really good. Claim it on your main for free stats, it'll help you with your training, with your bossing. The growth potions, well, this one is a tough question to answer also because you want, you want to know whether or not you want to use it uh, on your main or not, right? This this growth potion should give a lot of people incentive to grind to 250. So I think the I think Labby is gonna be super fucking crowded. Because <laughs> these growth potions basically um the maximum growth potion you really really want to use it at 249. But I mean like one way said the the EXP multiplier is not that much from 240 to 250. In fact, it's only like a 1.1 times increase from 240 to 249. So Technically, you can use it at any level past 240. The Typhoon Groves, obviously, you want to use it at 239, if possible. Uh, and the Awake Growth Potions, use it at the appropriate level. If you don't have a Mule to use it on for the Awake Growth Potions, you just use it on your main, and it just gives you the requisite EXP. So up to you. Uh, you can just shovel all the EXP into your main and then <laughs> make your main very fat. But yeah, that's that's basically how I use it. Um, if you all if you want the numbers, you all, I think, pa posted... Uh, link just now to have you calculate the EXP that you can get. For, but for me, if you want a general idea, for me, one Typhoon Growth Potion gives me at 260, it gives me about 10%. So at 250, it, gi it gave me, I think, 22% at 250. So at 250, you get about 22% from one Typhoon Growth. So if you combine all eight Typhoon Growths together from the Zen event as well, you get, you get like a level and a half. <laughs> a bit more than a level and a half. Uh... For people that are 250, for, for 8 Typhoon Groves, then obviously the maximum growth portion will give you about 2 times as much as that. So it's like basically 2 whole levels at 250. You can see the percent you gain in Maple City Discord? Alright, cool. Thanks. I'll look at it later. But yeah, that, that's like the rough. For me, for me at 260, it'll probably give me about a level uh, around there. One full level. Or around a level and a half. Uh, 80% plus like 40. Yeah. About a level and a half. Around there. So, yeah, that, that, that's that's for the growth potions. Then the Arcane Symbol Selectors, obviously they use it on main. <laughs> obviously use it on your main. Use it on Esfera or Mores if you're up, if you've unlocked Esfera or Mores because that's the best way to leverage the effectiveness of Arcane Symbol Selectors. 1000 is a lot. It'll help you a lot on your way up. So if you're not 235 yet, use these potions, get to 235, dump all of it on Esfera and Mores together. Use all these potions. These potions will most likely get most anybody to 235 quite easily because like you imagine you this is already three free levels from 220 to 229 and then afterwards you have another three free levels after that using a typhoon growth it'll easily get you to 235 easily easily 500 more 500 sir. yeah usually you want to balance them out so they max on the same day but in my case i didn't care because i did i hate more ladies so i max more first so my morris is higher level but 
technically you want them to max on the on the same day. If you're two one, <laughs> can you get a two three five? No, 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 no. That's, it's not enough. It's not enough. I hate Morris, you're just gonna use it. Oh yeah, I mean it's up to you. It's a personal preference. For me, I hate Morris. I'm just gonna max Morris first. If the thousand symbols lets you max Morris, I would actually suggest maxing Morris because Morris sucks ass to do. Like the daily suck ass. So yeah, thousand free symbols. Then custom mix die is cosmetic. The Vec pet, I would claim on your main. Yeah, I would claim on your main. I wouldn't claim it on a Kana. It's not a good idea. Like, cause Kana farms maps that are. What if, what if you're two three? Does it bring you to three five? It will be no. It it will be close. it will be close actually. It will be close. I I will, the vet pet I will claim on your main because Kana tends to grind at Arcana for most of their lifespan until two fifty. Arcana is the place where Kana's will grind, and you don't need vet pet at Arcana. You hundred percent don't need vet pet at Arcana. So it's only when you get to the higher level areas like uh, Labby. Labby has like seriously horrible platforms, and Liban also has seriously horrible platforms. That is when Vag will be useful. So it, if you have a farming Kana, I wouldn't claim Maomi on farming Kana. I'll claim on your main so that your main can have an easier time grinding and you can create you can get more meso. Your Kana main, if your Kana main then good for you, you have another free Vag pet. Don't you already have a Vag pet, dude? I'm pretty sure you already have a Vag pet. Anyways, yeah, that, that's for Maomi. Then uh the Mithra box obviously is just use it on your main now. <laughs> it's three times EXP. Very good. Very cool. Um okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this that that's the YouTube uh that's the YouTube portion. Thanks for watching.